eccentric scientist doctor. Nigel Hawthorne was convinced alien life lurked right under our noses. One fateful day in his backyard laboratory in London, he discovered a strange glowing blue substance unlike anything on Earth. Doctor. Hawthorne's obsession with alien life proved almost the downfall of mankind. These samples could hold extraterrestrial secrets. I just know it. Aha. Uh -huh. In his enthusiasm for alien science, Dr. Hawthorne failed to take precautions when experimenting on the local wildlife. The results were disastrous. Let's give you a dash of this, my little fruit fly friend. My God, you're the size of a rat now. This is an incredible breakthrough. With an insatiable appetite intrigued, Dr. Hawthorne isolates the gene in the fruit fly that triggered this growth and tries inserting it into a common garden snail. What happened next, the doctor could not foresee. The snail grows into a giant monster that breaks out of the lab and heads for the city. The slimy beast leaves a trail of glowing blue goo in its wake as it devours everything in sight. My, what have I done? As the giant snail makes its way to the Big Ben, Dr. Hawthorne realizes that the alien substance was a genetic experiment meant to terraform planets. As the military is alerted to the presence of this giant snail monster, the snail started to evolve into something almost alien-like. By God, what on earth have you created, Hawthorne? As General Smith sends out the full force of the British military and gets ready for a final showdown with the alien monster, he tells Dr. Banks to get hold of the man responsible for this, or it will be the end of not just England, but humanity as we know it. Wir haben ein Problem. 